Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the fifth part of this HTML5 and CSS tutorial, we'll look at creating ordered and unordered lists. So we'll go ahead and open up our Notepad++ file and we should be left off where we was before and we'll open up our web browser and we'll just shrink this down, open up the folder and drag and drop the HTML file. So now that we have this HTML file, there's one little tag that I want to show you, uh, which will help us to just organize our content a little bit. So we're going to, we're going to indent here if it's not already, not already indented. And we're just going to do a HR. This is called a horizontal rule. And all that's going to do is separate what we've done before to what we're going to do today. So underneath this HR, we want to create something called an unordered list UL. And like all other, all other HTML tags, it should have a closing one. If you do notice something though, this horizontal rule doesn't have a closing tag because it's just one element to emphasize something on the screen. So it doesn't really need a closing tag because we're not going to put content in between. It's just a line that goes across the screen. There's very few HTML tags that don't need a closing tag, but this is an exception and this is one of them. So you should take a note of that. Uh, we'll look at some other ones a bit later, but for now we'll focus on this unordered list. So we've got the unordered, unordered list open and closing tag. And in between these two, we want to do an indentation. So we're going to hit the tab key. So remember on the keyboard, we had that tab key. Uh, we want to hit that so we can indent into the side a little bit. So we're pressing this key on the keyboard, the tab key. And in here, we want to create our first list item. So we do an open tag. It's going to be called li list item and we want to close that list item so to save a bit of time we'll copy this so we select it and copy and then we'll hit the enter key here move down the line and paste it and we'll create let's say five of them now we've got five unordered lists and we'll save this and if we refresh the page now we'll see five bullets down the side here one two three four five and we're making a mistake here right so let's cut this. So sometimes you've got to be a bit careful with your code. So you can see I'm put, I'm placing this in the wrong place. So we should select it all. In your case, you might have done it right, but I'm going to cut it. And really what I want to do is move all of this content in between here, these two tags, that's where it should be. So we'll select it all. I'm going to cut it and then paste it here. It should go in between here. So let's refresh and now you see the list correctly and it's indented like this so in between these tags we can put content so we can say this is bullet one it's a bullet list bullet two we'll change the numbers in a second we're just going to paste them in between bullet two three four and five now when we refresh we've got the bullet list and then the, the tag sitting next to it or the titles the bullet titles now there's um a few different types of uh, bullets that we can use down the side here. So if we go to this unordered list tag, we can add an attribute, what we call an attribute to it. So we've got unordered list and we want to type in, we want to say what type is it going to be? And we're going to do an equal sign because we're going to tell it what type it's going to be. And we're going to put two speech marks. And in between these speech marks, we're going to write circle and save it. Now you can see their circles, right? So if we were to copy this, we can select it all with our mouse, right click copy, and then we'll go down a few lines and paste it again. Now we're going to have two separated lists. And in this first one, let's delete this here. Just leave it as an unordered list. Now we can see the difference between the two. And let's see if there's any others, right? So we'll go to what are we doing wrong here? So we're doing some, okay, let's bring this back here. We'll indent it like this. So it's a bit easier to read when you're coding. If, you, if your code is all over the place and it's not indented correctly, it's gonna be a bit difficult to read. So it's worth indenting like this. So we'll copy this one, this circle one, and we'll paste it below. And we can type in something like square, right? So we put square in here and then we refresh. Now you can see we have to scroll down the page to see that. Now we can see the square bullets. Um, 
we can also do one more we'll paste it here and this time we'll type in none and we'll refresh now we can see the bullet list but without the actual bullets down the side so there's really four types that we can play around with here these four styles you could say so that's how we create an unordered list let's make some more space down here and we're going to use our hr our horizontal rule to separate some content so let's save this and we can see the horizontal rule is right down here it's a bit hard to see but it's right down here and underneath that we want to create what we call is an ordered list so that's kind of different to the unordered list we'll look at that now so we used sometimes it's worth thinking about what you're typing in so you was for unordered so for order list what will we type in if we think about it logically it, if it's an ordered list we will type in o l ordered list right nice and simple so we'll create our opening tag and then we want to create a closing tag and the content that sits in the unordered list is the same as what sits in or the, the same formatting as what sits inside of the unordered list so the order list would start with a list item and it will have a closing list item tag and in this one we'll do again let's select it all so we we'll copy this and we'll paste it down one two three four. we'll have five of them and we'll call this list Uh, let's call it list uh, item item one and then list item two three four and five so list item one two three four and five and we'll save it and then we'll reload this page f5 or refresh key and now we can see list items one two three four five and we've got the numbers down the side one two three four five let's copy this unordered list so we'll copy this copy this section select it right click copy or control C and then press control V or you can right click and paste and we'll paste this one down and we're going to create another unordered list we're just going to change the formatting slightly so as we did type up here type equals square we're going to do type equals and we're going to put a capital A in here. Now we've got the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, and it's in all capitals, right? So we can copy this one now and paste it below. And I'm just showing you all the different types of styles that we can use. That's what I'm trying to do here. And we can do a lowercase a, and then we'll have it in alphabetical order, but all in lowercase. So that's nice and easy to do as well. And then we can do um roman numerals right i believe let's try that so we'll type in the letter i here in capital and then we've got the roman numerals and i believe we should be able to do that as well as a lowercase i And then we've got them in numer uh, Roman numerals, but in lowercase, uppercase, alphabetical, lowercase, uppercase, alphabetical, and then a number list. So number list is pretty much the default. You don't really need to type anything in to get the numbers because that is what the uh, default option will always be. So that's how you create different types of bullet lists and different types of number lists. It's quite easy to do that and a lot of times when you're creating HTML documents or you want to try and you know put things in list orders especially bullet lists we use that quite often um, this is the way that you're going to write the code to do that and it's highly unlikely you're going to use all these different types all on the same page but you will pick one specific one maybe like the circle one here and use that quite often across your website once you pick a style you'll normally use that style across a lot of websites or a lot of web pages that you create and normally we wouldn't necessarily do the styling in the document here. We'll normally do that within CSS, but I'm trying to show you the raw HTML code to do this. So later when we come to use CSS to do it, 
you'll understand the logic a bit better as to why we're using CSS. Uh, a good example would be, imagine if um, you wanted to create this style of bullets, right? And you've got 20 different web pages and you go and set up the tag to circle. Let's see, let's see, where's the circle one? So you go and create 20 different web pages. We're only creating one here, but you created 20 different web pages and you've used this style of bullet across all of those 20 pages. So you've got 20 separate documents with this style inside of it. Now with CSS, what you would do is you would write a tag in here and then you would write the style formatting for it in the CSS file. It's a separate file. Yeah, it will be a separate file. It won't be this HTML file. It will be a separate file. And then if you want to change it from circle to square, you'll change that in the CSS file and then that will be reflected in all of the 20 web pages that you've created. So later on, you'll see the power of CSS when we get to those tutorials of how powerful CSS can be to manipulate many documents on your, in your, uh, on your website just by one simple command. Okay, that will make a lot more sense a little bit later in the tutorials. But for this tutorial, we're done with creating bullet lists and we're done with creating order lists. So we call these unordered and then we call these order lists. So I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.